Hi guys, good evening everyone. So, as you know, uh, last time I shared one motivational video of Dr. Minakshi. Today, I am going to share you the same kind of caliber personality. The name is Dolly Singh. The speaker reflects on their transformative journey towards achieving their dreams, growing up as a shy and introverted child. They developed a close bond with their boyfriend and found solace in their vivid imagination. As they matured, their passion for music ignited, leading them on a path towards a career in entertainment. Despite living behind their childhood friendship, they learned valuable lessons about life and relations. During their studies, the speaker experienced a moment of clarity, discovering a newfound passion for fashion writing. Driven by their desire to create a glamorous life, they pursued a degree and prepared for their professional debut. Their journey was marked for both trumps and turbulation, including a painful breakup that led them on a journey of self-discovery and growth. Inspired by captivating television show, the speaker discovered a master's program in fashion management and embraced the opportunity to pursue their newfound passion. Throughout their transformative experience, they grappled with feelings of uncertainty and imposter syndrome, learning to embrace their uniqueness and celebrate their achievements. Let's listen her now. Hi, I'm Dolly Singh. Dolly, yes, that's where my misery began. I'm a content creator, I make videos just like every second person on the internet today. An influencer, I hate that word, I really cannot say it with a straight face. But don't most of us want to be it today? An influencer, I think we all do. Some people do get famous overnight, right? But I don't know about those lucky fellows. I'm here to tell my story, and mine took 26 years. For as long as I can remember, I did not have a lot of friends. Now, reasons could be many, but most of it because I was a shy, introverted, insecure mess. To cope, I had imaginary friends. Now, before you jump the gun, I did not see dead people. That's not who I was talking to. My imaginary friends were things. I remember naming every single product in my 3 by 2 feet washroom as a child, from toothpaste to toilet cleaning brush. And we did not discriminate. We touched the toilet cleaning brush a lot. Okay? So everybody was my friend. And childhood was happy. Cut to me being a rebellious teenager. Now, is even a non-rebellious teenager even a thing? Is it even a thing? Do they exist? Probably in a parallel universe they do. What did I rebel for? Well, my mother wanted me to wear traditional Indian clothing when I was in sixth standard because she thought I'm turning into a grown up, you know, a grown woman. But to me, nothing really was growing as such, except for my self hatred. So I said, no, thank you. And, um, but my imaginary friends also got an upgrade. This time, I had a boyfriend who, Daniel, Red, our very own Harry Potter. Oh my God. My love for him was more real than a lot of people's lives in social media these days. Shade. <laughs> but no, seriously, I would come back from school and cry my eyes out because I couldn't wait to marry him. Three years of that. It's still today my longest relationship. <laughs> and then I cheated on him. With others and I am not a reality. <laughs> but I used to watch him on TV every day, and so I switched my man just like my mom switches bed sheets. It's fine. I was a player. But no, not, not in the real world. In my head, I was. But I was a good kid. I always made sure my grades were okay. I made sure I participated in everything that I could have. But I always came back to the really lonely person that I was. I think we all are at some point in our lives. I think probably some of you still cry yourself to sleep. I did that a lot. Still do. But a lot of times I also cry laughing, watching dumb kids fall. You know, those videos. And that's beautiful. Somewhere deep down, I always knew I had to be famous though. How? I don't know. What did I want to be? No idea. For the most of it, I wanted to become a singer. But if I start singing here today, a lot of you will leave. People who say 
Love you. <laughs> so I did what everybody else does. I listened to my parents. So I moved to Delhi, the bustling big city that it was. And I had to leave all my imaginary friends, my boyfriends, everything behind, all the daydreaming. But the city taught me a lot of things. It taught me the ways of life. Being skinny shamed rose to more than 100 times a day. But forget body shaming. I was actually once shamed for being too nice. Why? Because I gave some people in my class some nice compliments, which is a problem I have. And I was told to stop doing that because they found it weird. That's how sad the world is today. Even a compliment can feel like an attack. But then I fell in love. And life was rosy again. In real love, okay, with a real person this time. <laughs> for the two months that it lasted. Told you I was a player. But no really. I mean, if someone could talk to me, a 38 kilogram worth of loneliness, 24-7, for two months, it was love in my eyes. It was a long distance relationship, and neither was there FaceTime, nor the 48 megapixel camera. So when he decided to come see me, I was ecstatic. I was so happy. The best days, the best three days of my life, I reckon. And it ended. So did the relationship. Right there. The love of my life left me without any reason. He stopped talking to me right the moment when he left for the airport. Without a reason, without a question, without an answer, without a token, a sign, anything. He didn't leave me with a lot of self-hatred, obviously. Five times more than what I had before. I mean, a boy left me without a reason the moment he saw me. I must be hideous, I thought. And so, I did what any sane person would do. I hid myself for a long, long time. Did not come out. But I had some new imaginary friends. Sleep deprivation, anxiety, sadness, its cousins. They started coming over a lot. They would stay over a lot. We would do all sorts of things together. We would read together, watch movies together. We would eat together, not eat together. We would travel together. Actually, I didn't travel. I just was in a room. But yeah, we were inseparable, all these new friends. But after over a year of this time with my beautiful friends, I made some real life friends. Some friends that I got blessed with at this stage in my life. And so these old friends, the sleep deprivation, anxiety, sadness, its cousins, they left me. Hi guys, good evening everyone. So, as you know, uh, last time I shared one motivational video of Dr. Minakshi. Today, I'm going to share you the same kind of caliber personality. The name is Dolly Singh. The speaker reflects on their transformative journey towards achieving their dreams, growing up as a shy and introverted child. They developed a close bond with their boyfriend and found solace in their vivid imagination. As they matured, their passion for music ignited, leading them on a path towards a career in entertainment. Despite living behind their childhood friendship, they learned valuable lessons about life and relationships. During their studies, the speaker experienced a moment of clarity, discovering a newfound passion for fashion writing. Driven by their desire to create a glamorous life, they pursued a degree and prepared for their professional development. Their journey was marked for both trumps and turbulation, including a painful breakup that led them on a journey of real life. I can't believe I'm calling it real life friends. You guys call them friends. But I was very insecure because my old imaginary friends from the washroom had left me. My old imaginary boyfriends had left me. My real boyfriend had left me. So I was always insecure that these real friends would also might leave me. Not to forget that at this point, I was studying political science honors from Delhi University. Not something I hated per se, but I knew I did not want to do for the rest of my life. What did I want to do? No idea. I had no idea. I, was, I remember throwing a question at my dad. Can I do fashion designing? Tailor than that? He asked me. What a beautiful question. And it just ripped my dream of all the glamour that I associated with it. But after, somehow I managed to finish my bachelor's. And then, just like any mature, thoughtful, sincere, career-driven Indian, I decided to prepare for MBA. <laughs> But I was always a good kid, like I told you. I always made sure my grades were okay. So I did not know what a failure felt like, especially academically. In life, I was okay. But 
So when I was in class, I did not know what it feels like to be clueless, what it feels like to not know an answer, to not raise a hand. I was always a girl whose hand was always up. So in this coaching class, I'm sitting there without an answer when everybody is just, you know, going all about it. I would come back home and cry, but eight, nine months at a stretch it happened. And my parents gave up. They were like, is there something you would like to do instead? Please do it. And yes, there was something I really wanted to do at this point. Seep into darkness and never come back. <laughs> yeah, because 22 year olds, I still don't know what I'd want to do in my life. And then I see six year olds rotating plates on their fingernails on India's Got Talent. <laughs> what am I supposed to feel like? But then I got to know of this beautiful course in NIFT called Masters in Fashion Management, an MBA in fashion they call it. So I prepared hard and I scored all India rank three. The topper was back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. And I also took an education loan. Let me handle it, Papa. Make it. Took an education loan on my head. And within the first few weeks, I realized I hated it. <laughs> None of the course was anything bad. But again, I did not want to do it for the rest of my life. So I started, but every, every second person on Instagram is doing these days. Fashion blogging. Well, I feel like these days, babies come out of the womb and are like, I'm fashion blogger, but not chatting home. <laughs> So that's what I did. I mean, I wasn't very comfortable in the... Sinikado, chuti nahi sunita, wo to mein hoon, jilti, shoes hoti. Thank you. And overnight, my life changed. But, I mean, as you saw, it took time. And then came Radu Ki Mami, a character that we all relate to. I, hi Radu, chuta 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 and so did a lot of other characters. Zenat, Mrs. Kapoor, Natasha, Rekhis Renu, Gurdi Bhavi, Bubbly, Ria, and a lot of nameless characters that came to birth with me, that came out with me. My new imaginary friends. Life came back to a full circle, huh? So if a girl like me, who daydreamt all her life, can make it somehow, so can you. All you have to do is accept yourself Whatever it is that you're made of, your unique body, your crazy mind, just go for it. And I'll tell you something. When you finish one struggle, another one will pop up and you have to face it again. And that's the beauty of life. That's what makes you beautiful. Right now, the struggle in my life is imposter syndrome. Angad knows it. And um, imposter syndrome is basically what you feel. You feel like a liar. You feel like a fraud. You feel like whatever you achieved in life is a lie. And, and you'll be ripped off of it very soon. You don't deserve it. I feel undeserving every time I'm asked to go for a talk, a speech, I cry, I say no. And I know how much I was pushed for this and I took this step. Um, so that's my, my current struggle, I must tell you, my new imaginary friend who has joined me recently in my house. Uh, but I'm dealing with it, it's all good, I'm here today doing this. So, so at the end, a uh, presenter or a speaker is trying to say you that you can learn from her journey, especially from a shy, introverted child, to finding her voice and passion in both music and fashion. Growing up, she found slash in, in her imagination, in her life, whatever she, is, she has in store for her. She also tried to communicate that she discovered a love for entertainment in their later time. She, she also narrated how she found passion for passion, fashion writing. She celebrated th through moments of clarity and overcoming heartbreaks. She also shared how she embraced her dream, battled self-doubt, and learned to celebrate her unique path. I'm pretty sure you love to watch the complete video of her story of growth, transformation, and how she found the way to glamorous future. If this story inspired you even a bit, it even a bit it helped you to, to reach your dream. See 
definitely, definitely love to share this video to all of you. Thank you.